Warning, this content may be upsetting or disturbing to some audiences. What's your favorite creepy slash scary book? Pet Cemetery gave me a nasty turn the first time I read it. I was in college and could only read it during the day. Gave up halfway through the second read because of how much anxiety it gave me. I was 30. House of Leaves is a creepy and interesting book which has to be read to understand anything. It's the most fascinating book I've ever read and I'd recommend anyone to read it. The Exorcist. Far better than the movie in my opinion. The Shining. Red Dragon. Honestly it is way creepier than Silence of the Lambs Emo. United States Tax Code. Complete Edition. Bird Box. Kept me in a constant state of creeping dread. The movie does not hold a candle to the book. Misery by Stephen King. Not so much scary as much as very tense, the scene where Paul is driven to madness for one of his painkillers and almost gets caught trying to steal them, disturbing, Annie Wilkes, Nuff said, and grueling, when the royal gradually loses basic letters off the typewriter and Paul has to write in all the N's and D's manually, until finally the F King E falls out and he is forced to write the last of his book with a theoretical bullet to his head missing limbs, an insane lady doting over him while simultaneously torturing him. The Horror at Camp Jelly Jam, by R. L. Stein. Everything's Eventual by Stephen King, it's chock full of spooky little stories, including none other than 1408, but for my money the scariest story is the second in the collection, The Man in the Black Suit. I read it once and it's haunted me these 15 years since. Fifty Shades of Grey. It's scary how many people think it's realistic. The Little Stranger. I went into it thinking it'd be a stereotypical ghost book but it's actually a lot more than that. Lots of underlying themes such as the class system in post-war Britain. All of it adds to the creepiness. Wait till Helen comes. I had a teacher in fourth grade that read this to our class. It will definitely scare kids and at least creep out adults. I just remember it scaring me to death when I was young. It's a pretty good story with a satisfying ending. It by Mr. Dot Stephen King. Jurassic Park, the original novel. I read it after seeing the film, and whoa. They really, really dialed down the gore factor for the movie. I mean, in the film Dennis Nedry's death was actually kinda funny. But in the novel the man gets his insides torn out by a Dilophosaurus. House of Leaves by Mark Z. Danielewski. You have to have a lot of patience, which I do not, and get distracted and bored easily so I'm still shocked I've read this book multiple times lol, because it's cryptic and the book turns into codes and pages where words are flipped or written in shapes, broken apart, etc. But it is unbelievably fascinating and beautiful and it is one of my all-time favorite pieces of literature, hands down. The Haunting of Hill House or The Lottery, both by Shirley Jackson. Beloved by Toni Morrison. Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark by Alvin Schwartz. The legend High Beams involves a woman who is driving and being followed by a car or truck. The mysterious pursuer flashes his high beams, tailgates her, and sometimes even rams her vehicle. When she finally makes it home, she realizes that the driver was trying to warn her that there was a man, a murderer, or escaped mental patient, hiding in her back seat. Each time the man sat up to attack her, the driver behind had used his high beams to scare the killer, causing him to duck back down. The Langoliers gave me nightmares, and I wasn't even a virgin. American Psycho. One Big Mind FCK. The Missing 411. Coraline, that book is creepy as hell and those goddamn illustrations don't help. I read the alien a stages ago and it creeped me out so bad I can't bring myself to even check out the TV show. World War Z, the book. F. King Chef's Kiss, A Quiet Place. Honestly had nightmares about this movie and I loved it. It's not really scary scary by today's standards, but there's this short story I read in a school book called Mrs. Hank that literally sent chills down my spine. It bothered me all the way up till adulthood and I googled it endlessly but couldn't find it, until I finally found a copy of the school book, Aftershocks on Amazon and actually ordered a copy so I can reread it and get some closure. That book is filled with other creepy little stories too. House of Leaves The Giver. 
It's such a cautionary tale that still rings true today about what conflict can do to a society and how a world with no free speech or expression and with mandated conformity would sound utopian but in reality would be evil. Twilight Eyes by Dean Koontz The Stand and the Girl with All the Gifts Primal Fear and its sequels by William Deal Movie with Edward Norton was good but the book is creepier and more disturbing. I Read the Manitou by Graham Masterton, when I was just a kid, and I remember it scaring the SHT out of me. I read it again as an adult, and was definitely disappointed. It absolutely did not live up to my memory. But for a while, it was the scariest book out there for me. All of the stories of M.R. James. Look him up and read him and you'll see what I mean. My ninth grade maths book. Plenty of Stephen King books, but Pet Cemetery and The Shining especially. Most recently, The Return by Rachel Harrison. A woman disappears and comes back with no memory of where she's been. She goes on a girl's trip with her friends and it becomes obvious she's not quite the same. A lot of you have mentioned most of the great ones, but Tommy Knockers by Stephen King is really great. It's a mixture of mild slash horror and sci-fi, also from Abuicate, Christine and so many others. Historic Haunted America the Bad Place by Dean Koontz House of Leaves is the answer It wasn't my favorite but Carrie and Comfort by Dan Simmons was unsettling as hell Pan Pal and the Deep Both were unexpectedly unnerving and creeped me out in ways I never knew books could Has to be The Shining S.K. at his best in that one The House of Doors By Brian Lumley just imagine being on a planet whose sole purpose is to bring your deepest darkest fear to life, and it's the whole F-King planet, with your only escape being to go to another planet filled with different horrors and nightmare fuel. I'm surprised no one's mentioned I have no mouth and I must scream by Harlan Ellison. It's very bleak and messed up. Made me so glad that we don't have sentient AI yet. Run, by Blake Crouch it's scary to think about having to bug out and try and survive. He has some horror books, but this one stuck with me. A Good and Happy Child by Justin Evans If you thought The Exorcist was scary, imagine it from Regan's point of view. Not exactly what the book is, but it's an apt comparison. The series Pet Shop of Horrors Every one is a volume full of one-shot horror stories about pets going wrong. The author twists it so that you can never tell what the end will be. Things like a snake who will turn you to stone if you look in her eyes. A dream-eating boar. A kitten with the power of luck. A cicada that can grant your wildest wish. An ox who can bring back the dead. Every story is a treat. The Resurrection Tree and Other Stories by Tony Cooper. Damn. I forgot the name of it, but it was about this kid, the author of the book, whose mother mentally and physically tortured him for a while unbeknownst to other people until finally authorities finally got involved. I read it during freshman year of HS and that book left me shook. Collected Ghost Stories by M.R. James The Oxford World's Classics Edition has useful endnotes that separate the real from the made-up erudition. The Stand has pretty much always been my favorite but there is a story in Stephen King's newer book If It Bleeds that was so mind-glowingly good, I think it became my favorite. It's called The Life of Chuck. The story that bothered me the most and I never want to read it again was Flannery O'Connor's A Good Man Is Hard To Find. Yay. Fuck that one. If I have to choose, some softcore horror from me would be Revival and Dr. Dot Sleep from Stephen King, my two favorites from him, Anything Lovecraft, and strangely, The Legends from Beckhair, perhaps because I'm Spanish and his mythology resonates with me. But, does anyone have any more hardcore recommendations? Like. If I read them, I won't sleep in a week. Or so gore why that I can't eat afterwards. I have seen many movies like that, but never books. Strange Seed, 1978, by D.M. Wright. My father gave me a lot of horror books when I was 14 and this one stood in my head for years. According to Goodreads, Rachel finds it hard to ignore her new husband's growing silence and the awesome, encroaching forest nearby. The forest has become a haven for abandoned children. But are they really abandoned? And most terrible of all are they really children? There were some forests outside the city where I lived back then, it helped building the creepiness. Doomakey is the Stephen King book that frightened me the most, 
I always think about it when I'm staying in a beach house at night. You hear the sounds of the waves crashing on the beach at night and wonder what might be out there lurking in the water in the dark. Coraline, I had so many nightmares. There's this Arabic novel room number 8 with a sequel room number 888. Enjoyed reading every page. The Call of Cthulhu. It's just incredibly well written. It's called John Barrington Crawls. It's one of the less known books written by Arthur Conan Doyle, Sherlock Holmes books writer. Trick or Treat by Richie Cusick. I have no idea why it creeped me out so much, probably because I first read it when I was around 11, but I think it is a great book and even now I still enjoy the book. The V.C. Andrews books especially the Flowers in the Attic series, man that grandmother scared me. Cannibal by Lois Jones. It's about Armin Mivas and how he met Bern Jürgen, who wanted to be eaten. Hostage to the Devil, The Possession and Exorcism of Five Contemporary Americans, great read, intelligently written. I love horror movies and books and don't scare easily. This book hit that nerve. I usually read before bed, and this book was hard to read at night. Whether you believe in possession or not, this book is a great read if you're interested in the subject matter. The Thief of Always. Clive Barker. It is technically a children's book. Daisy Brown was pretty creepy. Say her name Juno Dawson. Of all time, I would have to say Misery. Currently I'm really enjoying the Apex Predator books by D.A. Roberts. Dean Koontz is Dragon Tears. Amazingly it has nothing to do with Dragon or Tears. It's the first horror I have read and it was simply unnerving and amazing. Lockwood and Company it's not that scary but it was when I was 12. Coraline. I don't really get scared by books anymore but as a kid, I live in your basement, Goosebumps number 61, freaked me the hell out. Elephants on Acid sounds funny but it's full of creepy experiments that really happened. If you made it to the end of the video, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and we will see you in the next video.